I'm a bit full now. <sighs> Back in 2008, Meat Liquor started in a van called the Meat Wagon. The restaurant that we're in today, Meat Liquor, just off, off Oxford Street, opened the 11th of the 11th of the 11th, and it was their first proper flagship site. Meat Liquor offer everything from chicken burgers, beef burgers, hot dogs, salads, dips, sides, chips, anything you could imagine. And what's really nice as well, in the evening and weekends, they have a live band just in the corner that opens up into a bar. So there's places, a restaurant, but more of a bar as well. With Meat Liquor becoming so successful, with their first flagship site, which is where we're at, they've now opened 11 branches across the, all of central London. Never been to Meat Liquor before, but I've heard fantastic things about it. I'm really excited to try their burgers. Most popular cheeseburger, or, or beef burger that you dead, guys do? Dead Hippie Burger. The which one? Dead Hippie. The Dead Hippie? Yeah. Okay, awesome noticed about pretty much every burger restaurant I've been to they all have plant-based options especially like the big guys patty and bun now meat liquor they all have something that's like a beyond meat burger that's accommodating to like this growing vegan market which is quite impressive because it shows you that there aren't just meat options that you have to eat my beef burger is here now and it looks just as juicy as patty and bun meat is cooked perfectly you gotta have a look at what's inside of it. Look how juicy that burger looks. Just hope it tastes as good as it looks. Bon appetit, guys. Remember, upside down. I don't know what it is about pickle in a burger, but it just works so well. Definitely getting a really strong taste of beef. Can't really work out what the sauce is in here. But the burger's holding together really well. Take another bite. The meat is cooked perfectly. I love medium rare. Like when I'm biting into it, you've just got enough, enough crisp outside, but the meat is pink in the middle and then it's just biting into like butter. Even though it's a double patty, you don't have too much stuff going on in here that you can't eat it. Not a huge amount of flavors going on, but I definitely, there's a very richness of the beef. The only thing I can't really taste in here is the minced white onions. I'm not sure if it's because the beef is just overtaking and the pickle is overtaking the flavor. But I have noticed that the meat has made the bun very soggy, but it's still a tasty burger. That beef burger was very, very tasty. I just felt like, the bun couldn't hold it together and you're like fighting for your food. In terms of taste, it was cooked perfectly. I don't feel that the beef was that tasty. It was, didn't have the same sort of flavors. And like, as I bit into it, all I could really taste was just a beef patty. I couldn't really taste the mustard, the cheese. But that's not gonna stop me because this is only another step in the burger journey to hunt down and find London's best burger restaurant. So before I forget, because I completely forgot to put it in the video, whether I would hit or miss this restaurant, I would definitely hit this restaurant up based on the burger that I had. It wasn't amazing, but it was still a tasty burger. Back to the video. I'm a bit full now. <sighs> the meal, Ben. Very good, lovely, thank you. Yeah. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and go follow me on Instagram and Twitter to stay updated. The next burger restaurant will be with you shortly. I'll see you on the next one.